on girls lending pens. <laughs> pens. Pens. And this is actually odd because you asked me to borrow my pen several times right before the show. So but this is not about that. <laughs> On girls lending pens. I walked into the classroom and straight to my chair, but when I reached for my pen, it wasn't there. I had no pen, no crayon, no pencil. I was stuck before class without a writing utensil. I could have asked the teacher if I had dared, but I knew she would have said, you're unprepared. So to be diplomatic and avoid the fight, I quickly turned to the girl on my right. Do you possibly have a pen I could borrow? I'll use it today, have it back by tomorrow. Oh, for sure, she said. I've got plenty. And she turned around with a handful of 20. I really don't care what color or style. I'll take that fountain pen, I said with a smile. Oh, you don't want that one. It comes out all ugly. Plus, it's made of pure gold. She said to me, smugly. <laughs> then how about the blue? No, that one hops. Okay, maybe the green? Comes out in gloss. Black? I'm afraid it's having trouble connecting. Red? Oh, I need that if we do any in-class correcting. Look, I said, my voice filling with fear. Just give me a pen before the teacher gets here. <laughs> but this one always comes out in tongues, and the yellow one skips, and the purple one runs. When the brown one dries, it looks real icky, and the orange one's covered with something sticky. This one's for emergencies, in case I get confused, because it's clean and it's fresh and it's never been used. I keep this one for quizzes because it brings good luck, and the ballpoint's blotchy, and the cap is stuck, and this one's empty with a silver band, and the felt tip will leak all over your hand, and this one's cracked, and that's going berserk, and this one will be perfect, except it doesn't work. But here, take this one, this one's fine. Oh, no, wait, sorry, that one's mine. I think she went on, but I couldn't have cared. I decided it was better to go unprepared. <laughs>